Hello again, I'm Jim Lampley. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. has inherited perhaps the greatest name in the storied history of Mexican boxing. When he took up boxing professionally at age 18 with no significant amateur background, most ring experts scoffed at the notion that he could ever be seen in the same league as his fantastic father. But his career has turned out to be an unexpected blessing for boxing. He's risen to the ranks of top contenders in the middleweight division. Let's take a look now at Julio Cesar Chavez Jr.'s greatest hits. June 2007, Chavez Jr. looked to avenge one of his father's losses, stepping in against Grover Wiley. Wiley had ended Chavez Sr.'s career two years earlier, but Chavez Jr. proved a much tougher foe from the opening round. There's the left hook to the body. Grover still trying to catch his breath. Hammered by that left hook to the body. The barrage of left hooks continued into round three. Systematically destroying him with the left hand. One or two more left hooks to the body just might do the trick here. And another body shot puts him down. That's the third knockdown in the fight, and Wiley is shaking his head as if to say, that will do. That's what you do when you hammer them to the liver. June 2011, a pair of unbeaten fighters squared off at Staples Center as Chavez met Germany's Sebastian Spick. Early on, it was Spick looking to force the tempo. Spick fighting much more aggressively than I've seen him in the past. Good combination by Spick. Throttles back the head of Chavez Jr. Says wants more. And now Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. opens up on his own. Entertaining round three. During the middle rounds, Spick proved to be the busier fighter, but the larger Chavez landed bigger power shots. Chavez hooks to the body, hooks again to the body. These guys are going at it, boy. They are going at it. Speak gets knocked back. Chavez Jr. opening up. Good left hand to the body. The body attack of Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. paying huge dividends through eight. Entering the final rounds, both fighters continued unleashing big shots at close range. Good left hand inside by Speak. Devastating body work by Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. These boys are really fighting, I'll tell you that. Both of these guys came to win tonight. Tremendous performance by Sebastian Speak and Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. To the body goes Jr. one more time. After 12 punishing rounds, Chavez Jr. claimed the majority decision victory. November 2011, Chavez Jr. took on veteran Peter Manfredo. In contrast to the pressure tactics displayed in his win over Spick, Chavez spent the early rounds boxing and counterpunching from a distance. Combination counter shot by Chavez. Nice combination by Chavez to end round number two. A frustrated Manfredo tried to force the action and make it a brawl in round four. Manfredo digs a right and left to the body. Roundhouse right to the ear of Manfredo. Manfredo's making it a dog fight, but Chavez might be winning the dog fight too. Manfredo continued coming forward in round five, and Chavez found an opening. Oh, Manfredo's hurt. Got hit with a right hand. Chavez steps in. Punches firing away. Learns call the referee taking a close look. Manfredo's in big trouble, and he's not holding on. Chavez unleashing a left hand, and Lawrence Cole has stopped it. He's not punching back. He didn't grab, he didn't hold, and the referee sees right there that he's basically out of the fight. Win number 44, 31st stoppage. Chavez over Manfredo. February 2012, Chavez Jr. faced Marco Antonio Rubio, who entered having won his last 10 bouts. While both fighters were active in the early rounds, it was Chavez Jr. controlling the pace. Left hook upstairs by Chavez. Another left hook to the body. Throws that punch with conviction. Look at the way he bodies him off to create the space and then lands the punch. Rubio landing clean shots but getting backed off. Chavez took those shots well, but you don't want to take too many of them. Entering the middle rounds while Rubio was throwing more punches, his blows were brushed off by Chavez Jr. He used his larger shoulders to repeatedly push Rubio around the ring. Full-scale body assault now. Rubio pinned in a corner. Chavez Jr. wailing away. Those body shots have got to hurt. And the thing about it, Rubio is not creating any space. He's playing the perfect fight for Chavez. Rubio can't afford to keep getting driven into corners. 
This is not good for him. The later rounds saw both fighters letting their hands go. Landing exchanges flush at close range. Ripping Rubio with a left hook. Hard right hand. Raging ball. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. pounding away. They're putting some hurt on each other. Normal human beings can't do this. Rubio has landed some colossal shots at the last two rounds. They don't phase Chavez Jr. at all. The size advantage and harder punches from Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. proved the difference as he came away with a unanimous decision victory. June 2012. Chavez Jr. faced one of his most significant tests to date against skilled Irish southpaw Andy Lee. The clash of styles was evident early. Lee's jab controlled the action in the middle of the ring while Chavez tried to score against the ropes. Chavez comes in with a left hook. Good punch. Another left hook lands for Chavez. And for the first time, Chavez throws to the body. Hard left hand by Lee, and another, and an uppercut. But that shot seemed to wake Chavez Jr. up and make him realize, okay, that's enough. Now I gotta get to this guy. All right, press him, combination, body and head, okay? Put that pressure on him, okay? You're too strong for him, let's go. Chavez Jr. took Freddie Roach's advice to heart and began moving Lee to the corners. Uppercut by Lee, what a chin Chavez has. Took it, absorbed it, rallied back with five or six shots. Body shot by Chavez, that one hurt. Good right hook by Lee. Hard right hand by Chavez, and another. Andy Lee's chin stands up too. Entering the middle rounds, Lee abandoned his jab, willing to engage Chavez in a brawl. There's a good hard left hook by Chavez, and that one hurt Lee. And Lee is falling for what Chavez wants him to do, which is fall into a puncher's fight. There's a perfect counter right hand. It sure was. And two hard body shots. Hard right hand by Chavez, hard right hook by Lee. Body shots by Chavez to punctuate the round. By round seven, the accumulated body work of Chavez Jr. had taken its toll on Lee. And more and more, when Lee lands, it doesn't mean much. Chavez is just walking through it, pounding Lee to the body. Oh, there he is. He's oh, we've got a knockout coming. Lee's badly hurt. Lawrence Cole's gonna stop the fight. Technical knockout for Julio Cesar Chavez as he hammered Andy Lee into submission. The guy has grown into a true prime time prize fighter. Now I can't wait to see him and Martinez fight. To see more of Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., tune in to HBO Boxing.